You must have noticed that Unity has so many packages that can make the process of making your game so much easier. And today, we will be covering the best sex packages that you must use in every project of yours. If we didn't meet yet, my name is Walid from Spectra Games, and I'm an indie games developer. First, make sure you destroy that like button for the YouTube algorithm because it really helps me out to put more content for you guys. Before starting, I will show you how to download packages for people who doesn't know how to do so. You will just click here, window, then package manager, and this window will pop up. You will click here, and then you will see that it shows you just the packages in your project. You will choose Unity registry to show you all the existing packages in Unity. I will search for something like post processing. You click the package in this bar, install here, and this is how you install a package. Now let's get started. I will start my list with the most important package or tool that I use in absolutely every project since it was released. Of course, it is ProBuilder. ProBuilder is a unique hybrid of 3D modeling and level design tools optimized for building simple geometry but capable of detailed editing and UV and wrapping too. You can use ProBuilder to quickly make complex terrain features, vehicles and weapons, to make custom collisions geometry, trigger guns or nav meshes, or even to make prototypes quickly before starting building the level, like I do in all of my games. And the rest depends. For example, if I'm working on a low poly game, I will spend more time in Pro Builder because it's the perfect choice for me to build a low poly terrain after prototyping. And you know what? My favorite feature that Pro Builder has is that after making models with it, you can directly export it from Unity and start making more details with professional modeling programs like Blender, 3D Maya, etc. And that's a really amazing feature. It really helps save more time or make amazing 3D models even for people who knows nothing about modeling. As you can see now with me, this is a list of 17 amazing games that's become so popular when they got released. What's cool about this list is that they made every game of it essentially using Pro Builder to finish their level design and 3D modeling. There's some first person shooters, some RPG games and even some VR games in this list. I will let you watch the proof that Pro Builder is very amazing and I will be back to you with the second package that I like in Unity. Cinemachine is the second tool on our list. Cinemachine is a creative tool that allows you to have full control over your camera inside Unity. Whether you are working on a game, a short clip or a movie, Cinemachine is the right choice for you. It will allow you to create any camera behavior you want without needing any single programming skills and absolutely everyone can do what they want just after watching a tutorial. I recommend this one for everybody. You are gonna find this in Unity's official site and of course you will find this in the description box also. When it comes to the gaming industry, Cinemachine will help you create some camera behaviors like first person camera, third person camera, make a camera flow in objects, render from multiple cameras at the same time and a lot of really amazing behaviors that you can finish in just a couple of minutes. So if you are not using Cinemachine yet, Go check the tutorial I mentioned earlier and start working with it. 
And if you want to see some games made using Cinemachine, I got you. Every Unity game from 2018 till now is made using Cinemachine. That's the power of Cinemachine. Next we have Visual Scripting. This package used to be called or still be called Bolt. But if you want to download the package, you will find this under the name of Visual Script and in the Package Manager. Bolt is a free package that helps you create scripts without needing any programming skills and that is done through nodes that you can assign together to make a certain behavior. You can watch this video right here in which I explain everything about Visual Script and I explain also the difference between Bolt and Playmaker. Both of the tools allow you to create advanced scripts using Visual Script. Bolt is free, you can download it from Package Manager under the name of Visual Scripting, but Playmaker costs $65. There is no big difference between them, so if you are interested to know more about Visual Scripting, check the video that I mentioned, it will help you a lot. Visual Scripting became so popular the last two years due to how simple and easy it is to work with a seed of complex programming. Plus, if you used Visual Scripting, everyone will understand what you did. And what I mean by this is, for example you are a coder, and there's a designer in your team. If you used programming, your designer will never understand your code and he won't be able to tweak it depend on the design he's working on. But if you used visual scripting, he will understand you easily. He just needs some experience with nodes and this is something that every professional designer has, so it's more easy. I hope that this point is so clear for you now. The next package in this list is Text Mesh Pro. If you never heard about it, Text Mesh Pro is a tool that you can find in the package manager that allows you to render text professionally. Because as everyone noticed, when they use the normal text tool, it renders text in a decent way, but it's not enough to make your game looks appealing. So the solution for this is Text Mesh Pro. You can create amazing text with it as you can see now with me, it gives you also full control over your text. And you can make amazing transitions or animations using it. It doesn't need any tutorials. The moment you are gonna look at it, you will know how to do everything by yourself. It's a very professional tool that have been used in games that's made by Unity in the last 5 years. And you definitely should start using it. You are gonna find the link in the description box that's gonna lead you to Unity's documentations about this amazing tool. The last two packages that I'm gonna talk about in this video are the URP and the HDRP. Those packages are the most important ones in Unity. You must have heard about them before, but if you didn't, I'm gonna go through them quickly. URP stands for the Universal Render Pipeline and HDRP stands for the High Definition Render Pipeline. Both of them are responsible of the way that the camera renders your scene. Per default, Unity has a render pipeline that is called the Built-in Render Pipeline. This one is not enough to render your scene with a high graphics fidelity, plus it might get slow when you start using some advanced graphics features. Universal Render Pipeline, on the other hand, is more advanced than the built-in render pipeline. It will render your scene better, open it and you will see yourself. Textures will be rendered better, lighting will be better, and you will have more advanced settings to control the graphics of your game and some advanced tools like Shader Graph and VFX Graph. The High Definition Render Pipeline is better than both of them. It has all of the tools that the Universal Render Pipeline has and some extra ones. But using it in some projects that it's not necessary for them will cause you some problems in the game. It will be slower than other ones. That's why you should watch this video right here in which I already talked about those two render pipelines because you want to know which render pipeline you should use in your game. You will find the link of the video in the description box and you will find also Unity's documentations about those two render pipelines. I just would like to mention that you can't use URP and HDRP just by the normal package installation. There's some extra steps you should follow in order to do that. You will find them in the video that I mentioned. This is the end of this video guys, I hope that it was helpful for you. If you made it till the end, I appreciate you so much, give this video a thumbs up if you like it, smash subscribe and hit the notifications bell because I drop cool videos every week and you don't wanna miss them. See you in the next one.